Good evening. I'm the head of the investigations department at Animal Equality. And um, there are episodes in our lives that we all know that we won't forget. And when I was just 11 years old in Spain, uh, my mother brought me to a farm. And I thought, well, oh, nice. Like, you know, I was imagining seeing some stereotypical farm with a rustic barn with animals roaming about. Instead, what I saw in this hand farm was countless hens in near darkness, overcrowded in cages, stuck in what seemed like endless corridors. A stench was unbearable. Fourteen years later, I entered an egg factory farm for the second time with Sharon. I wasn't on another family visit with my mother. I was there to expose the cruelty of these animals and to rescue 10 of them. That day, for the first time in their lives, the hens were able to rescue, were treated as beings instead of machines. As animals with motion, behavioral, and physiological needs. As individuals who can experience joy, and who can suffer as well, just as we do. And for the first time in their lives, they were able to spread the winds feel the earth under their feet, dust bathe and bask under the warm sunlight. At Animal Equality, we have exposed the cruel realities the meat, egg, and dairy industries try so hard to keep hidden. Several of our directors who are here to us, uh, with us tonight, like Sharon, Dulce, Tony, and some others, have been in these factory farms themselves filming. I'm fortunate every day to work for, with them and with other committed advocates who inspire me with their dedication to shine in the spotlight on the horrors of factory farming. But we're only able to conduct these investigations because of your support. Your donation allows us to work and cover at these facilities, to install hidden cameras that, like as we saw in this video, that capture how the workers were brutally beating baby calves just born a few hours before. A film and the water, as most of us have seen in Conspiracy, for example. And also film from the air, uh, the, um, the environmental devastation that these pig farms suppose or imp imp uh, imply. I want to ask you to, general, to give generously today so we can continue this work. It's the third time that we, Animal Equality, is considered a top charity. It's one of the most effective organizations in the world. Every dollar you donate to Animal Equality will change the lives of animals in factory farms who have, who have no one else but you. In our decade of investigations, we have exposed hundreds of facilities, closed some of them, get the abusers prosecuted for animal cruelty, with, one, with some of the biggest sentences in Spain or the UK. For example, in Spain, it was the first sentence for animal cruelty for farm animals. Before, it was only in dogs and cats. We have done 21 investigations just this year alone. Hundreds of millions of people through traditional media saw the images that we were able to capture with our cameras, and millions more, thanks to you also, for sharing it on social media. These images have persuaded politicians, corporations, to end some of the worst forms of animal cruelty. We expose the farms and slaughter plants in, of Italy's largest chicken meat producers and release two investigations in back-to-back -back months in Germany with a letter producing 275 media stories and reaching over 68 million people with those images. We installed hidden cameras in a chicken farm, and what we saw the, the following day was the workers smashing, crushing baby chicks, kicking them, throwing them alive into trash containers, still alive. That's it there in the images. And we also infiltrated in the last year and a half 35 Mexican slaughterhouses. Ari Nessel here, Dulce Ramirez, our executive director in Mexico and I have been in a number of them. 
with our cameras, as otherwise people wouldn't believe what we were telling them that these people are doing in these places. And with those images and with the support of Marco Antonio Regil, We have introduced, as Sharon mentioned, an initiative that will make cruelty to these animals, killing these animals without stunning them, will become a felony crime. <laughs> Animal quality investigators and other investigators, of course, who are my personal heroes and dear friends, continue to do this work because we have to for the animals. And I'm humble by how greatly this joint effort on their behalf is changing and saving lives. Before I go, I would like to extend a special thanks to Harry Nessel. Yeah, leave your phone. <laughs> a dear friend and recipient of our Philanthropic Impact Award. As I mentioned earlier, Ari joined us on an undercover investigation into factory farms and slaughter plants a few months ago. Mm -hmm. And with his dedication and kindness, he has changed the life of so many animals, including mine. Thank you, Ari. Thank you, each one of you. Thanks.